graphs a graph is a type of data structure what does a graph contain it contains a set of vertices and a set of edges that connect the vertices so a graph is essentially a set of vertices v and a set of edges e now there can be many types of graphs first let's look into what is a directed graph so let me give an example these are going to be my vertices and these will be the edges that connect my vertices so my vertices are going to be a b c and d now as you can see whenever there is an edge connecting two vertices there is also a direction so if i ask does the edge that connects a to b exist in this graph yes there is an edge between a and b and that edge moves from a to b so yes this edge exists in this graph suppose i ask does the edge b comma a exist in this graph so i'll see that there does not exist an edge which goes from b to a so no this edge does not exist so in a directed graph all the edges have directions and the edges go from a vertex to another vertex and this direction is important in this graph the second kind of graph that we will look at is a non directed graph so let me give an example this is an example of a non directed graph so my set of vertices are a b c and d now if i ask the question does the edge a comma b exist i'll say is there an edge between a and b yes then i ask the question does the edge b comma a exist yes there is an edge between b and a so this will also exist so essentially if i draw a line between a and b that means that there is an edge between which goes from a to b and there also exists an edge which goes from b to a so this non directed graph is equivalent to this directed graph so for every edge i'm going to add one to edge and one from edge so this is the non directed version if you want to convert that to a directed edge or a directed graph you need to replace all the non directed edges with two equivalent directed edges so that is what a non directed graph is the third type of graph that we can see is a weighted graph
So in a weighted graph, every edge is going to be assigned a particular weight. So if I ask what is the edge or what is the weight of the edge a comma b, the weight of the edge a comma b is going to be 3. So this is what a weighted graph looks like. In the coming videos, you'll see why a weighted graph is necessary and what algorithms we can perform using a weighted graph. But for now, it is enough to know that every edge has a weight and that's what makes it a weighted graph. You can have a weighted directed graph as in this example or you can have a weighted non-directed graph. So these are the three major types of graphs that you should know. Now let's look at how we are going to implement this graph data structure. Let's say that the graph we want to implement is this. So this is going to be a weighted directed graph. So there are two ways to implement graphs. The first way is to use an adjacency list. So what is an adjacency list? I'm going to have an array each of which represents a vertex. Now each element in that array is going to be a list. What will the list contain? The list will contain all the other vertices that this vertex is connected to. This will be more clear when I use this example. So first what should I do? I create an array with all the vertices. My vertices are A, B, C and D. Now let me go to the first element. I have vertex A. Which other vertices is A connected to? A is connected to the vertex B. So in this linked list or in this list at the array position 0, I am going to add the element B. I will also add the weight of that edge. Is A connected to anything else? No. So we are going to stop the list here. Now we go to B. B is connected to C. So I am going to add that to my list. B is connected to C with a weight of 4. What else is B connected to? B is also connected to D. So I'll add that to the list. B is connected to D with a weight of 5. Now I'll go to C. Is C connected to anything? No. So we won't add anything for C. Then we go to D. Is D connected to anything? Yes, D is connected to C. So we are going to add C to the list of D. And what is the weight of C? The weight of C is going to be 6. So in this way, we are going to create an adjacency list. So what is an adjacency list? It is an array of linked lists. Each linked list shows the vertices that are connected to the vertice assigned to the index of the array. So A is connected to B, B is connected to C and D, C is not connected to anything, D is connected to C. Now you may ask why am I saying C is not connected to anything since B is connected to C and D is connected to C. Note that there is no edge that goes C comma something because this is a directed graph. So although there are edges coming from other vertices 
to C, there are no edges going from C to any other vertices. So in that case we say C is not connected to anything. That's why we have no nodes which connect to C. So this is how you represent a graph using an adjacency list. Note, for a non-weighted graph, we won't give the weights. The second way of implementing this graph is going to be through an adjacency matrix. So first I am going to create an n by n matrix where n is the number of vertices. So I have four vertices therefore I create a 4 by 4 matrix. Now each row and each column is going to represent a particular vertex. So let me write down the vertices. Now let's look at the first position. In this position what must I write? If there is an edge which connects A to A, that is if there is an A comma A, then over here I will give the weight of that edge. So in this example there is no edge connecting A to A, so I am going to give a 0. Why? Because there is no edge A comma A. Now I see A comma B. Is there an edge A comma B? Yes. What is the weight of that edge? 3. So I will add a 3 there. Then I see A comma C. There is no edge A comma C, so I have a 0. There is no edge A comma D, so 0. Now I see B comma A. There is no edge B comma A, so 0. There is no B comma B. B comma C has a weight of 4. B comma D has a weight of 5. C comma A does not exist, C comma B does not exist, C comma C does not exist, C comma D does not exist. D comma A does not exist, D comma B does not exist, D comma C has a weight of 6 and D comma D does not exist. So this is how you create the adjacency matrix for a weighted graph. So if there is no edge or if the edge does not exist, we give a 0. Otherwise, use the weight. Now, in a non-weighted graph, if there exists an edge, what value will we put? Before, in a weighted graph, we are putting the weights wherever there is a edge. But in a non-weighted graph, we won't have these weights. So what value should we put? In a non-weighted graph, if there exists an edge, use a 1. So wherever there is an edge in a non-weighted graph, since we don't have weights to fill into the adjacency matrix, we just put a 1 to indicate that that edge exists. So these are the two ways you can represent a graph. And with that we come to the end of the introduction to the data structure graphs.